<laughs> there you go. Watch yourself because the uh -oh. horse is there. I got the two. There you got the castle. Put your two hands in the air. On the count of three, say sausages. One, two, three. Sausages. Again, sausages. Sausages. Jump. <laughs> Come on, higher. Jump, <laughs> jump, jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> Jump! <laughs> That'll be great. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Wait, oh, yeah, where's my phone? Not record. Hey guys, we are in day two. Hey guys, we are in day two in Dublin, Ireland, and today we're going to Northern Ireland. It's like Belfast, Galway. I'll put it all right here. So now we're headed to central Dublin to meet up with our tour. On this tour, there is no hotel pickup. So I'm going to be bringing you guys along with me. The British Army stopped the bus. You guys would all be fine. I'd be taken off, searched, and guns put up, asked loads of questions because I'm a southerner. My name is Patrick Walsh. That's the way it was then. So no border. Somebody asked me last week. So what I'm going to do is at the end, this quote topped all that. Soccer was for the Protestants, GAA and hurling was the Catholics. But they have a neutral sport now called the Belfast Giants ice hockey. So they picked the neutral sport. I'll point that out to you as well. So if you look here. supposed to stop it's kind of bonus what we're doing here um, and the cars you'll hear them beeping for a stopping but it's such a great place you have to get off and get your photos there's the loose castle now there's Finn McCool look you see his, the shape of his nose see so he was a big 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 giant as you can see anyone wow. got any cameras out good um, so that's supposed to be Finn McCool anyway and you'll see giants going when you get down in the shape of the big volcanic stones. So there's Dun Luce Castle.
Say sausages one, two, three. Sausages. Again, sausages. sausages. Jump. <laughs> Come on, higher. Jump, 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 <laughs> jump, <laughs> jump. <laughs> That'll be great. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, I'll point out one or two little things to you. And then we're about three or four minutes away from Giant Causeway. But what, what time we're going to pick you up? So, where we drop you off. here for two hours so we get to explore. No way. <laughs> I was about to run up to it. So yeah, we're just here exploring. It's so pretty. It's so fresh. I see why the soap is called Irish Reed. Let's take a picture here. What do you think? Precious air, and I'm shocked to find out the best food. The food here has been so good. Just do it. Let's sit on the rock. Yeah, same. Okay, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
beautiful. So, see the old see the old ruin now. <laughs> we'll sever the castle and see what's left of it. That was completely wiped out in 1976. Um, so that's it, if anyone gets a couple of photos. Okay, we're going to move on now. Game of Thrones. So we're going to be at the White Sands Beach. You'll see it. Okay, so there's the stunning White Sands Beach. Um, where the Game of Thrones see the battle scene all shot there. If you want to just get a couple of quick photos, guys, from the window even, because it's dangerous. Or you're going to pull in, are you? A fair play to Vedran. He's going to pull in for us. That's really decent of him. So if you want to get some photos, I know that uh, you have Baywatch in America, that famous show. <laughs> but the, the farmers send the cattle sometimes go into the you water in the me. summer when it's hot. They go down their Wellington boots and take them out. So that's Ireland's answer to Baywatch. All down there, they, they took over the whole villages. The games of Thrones. They were all filmed down there. And the island to the left is called Sheep Island. They brought over 500 sheep when the Vikings were to invade. They thought to be safe over there, but the Vikings still slaughtered them all. And we're coming through the village now of Ballantoy, where, or shortly, where Game of Thrones took it over. I'll tell you a little bit more, because we're going to be coming back this way, and then turning up for... You guys, look at this pond. Justin was asking, like, well, how deep do you think it is? How deep do you think this is? I'd say maybe like three, four feet. What do you think? Scott, but that's great. You're all great sports getting your photos, you're not shy. Family, you're gonna see this big house when you get off. You'll see it as you walk around the path. It's to the right. Now this guy had an affair with with the maid and his wife Elizabeth, she had 21 children. The same number of children as the husband's mistress, who was also the maid. The husband inherited this land in the early 17th century. King James I granted the land to a cousin who drowned on his way to Ireland before he could take possession of the new home. The estate then passed on to his grandson, William Stewart, which was the cheating husband. These trees are crazy looking. Like they're just gonna like swallow you. Legend has it that the wife still haunts this land. They call her the Grey Lady. She is a ghost that glides between this road, sashaying between the gnarled trees that her and her husband planted, and she vanishes from sight when she passes the last tree. Some of the local people believe that the ghost is the maid of the nearby house, the one that the wife actually murdered for sleeping with her husband. I mean, I feel her. 21 kids by this man that you want to cheat on me? 21 chill. Are you joking? Are you kidding? You know. So. The local said on Halloween night, the forgotten graves are said to open and the gray lady is joined on her walk by the tormented souls of those who were buried beside her. Who's down to come back here for Halloween? <laughs> I'm so down. Today, this unique, tranquil, and spellbinding tunnel of ancient beech trees stretches along the Brigand Road, 
intertwining and entangling to create a spectacular fusion of light and shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper reel. This is a cool tree. Process. Yo, this is seventeen twenty five. Seventeen twenty. All right, you ready? Cheers. No, no, fine. You guys, look how divine. We got the lamb shank with the fresh mashed potatoes and Irish butter. Ignore the cigarettes. Um, again, it delicious. Delicious. The food in Ireland, some of the best food I've ever eaten in my entire life. I know I look crazy, but yeah. So I didn't so I didn't even tell you guys where we were right now. We're in what's this Temple Street? I think yeah. this is Temple Street and it's like the party street. Like if you're in Ireland you have to come here. Right there, the Temple Bar, it's like really famous. And you can go in there and get a Guinness. Oh my god, please come here to this restaurant. Right here. So good. That's where we just had that lamb shank. So much fun. You can just like drink. Ooh, yeah. And yes, and walk down the streets, but hands down, this restaurant right here had the best meal. Now all the food, like I've been saying, is really good. Um, so <laughs> so tonight we're just gonna go back to the room, shower. And we're gonna watch a good movie and prepare for London tomorrow. Um, I had a lot of fun in Ireland. I'm really happy that we came here. By the way, look at my necklace. It says Ashley. Um, I made this necklace. But anyway, um, I'm really happy that we made it a point to come here. Leprechaun. Where? Oh my god. Uh, Justin's been looking for these groups of leprechauns that we ran into. Um, but yeah, so much fun. I really enjoyed Nor Northern Ireland earlier today. I really suggest booking that tour. That'll be linked down below. And yeah.